Hi friends, welcome to Miss Lori's craft room. <coughs> Today we're going to do a tutorial on an, this little angel. It's a new cut file in my store. And um, I have, this is what we're going to do today, but this is a large one I did. And this one is called the Lace Angel. This one is a plain. And then this one is a border. And I think I'm going to, I have one more too. I can't remember what I called it though. So um, I have lots of different options. This one is made with a paper head. I won't be showing you how to do that today because I've already made a tutorial on it. So I'll link that also in the listing. So um, this one was made with gold cardstock, very thick cardstock. And isn't it cool? I love it so much. It's so pretty. Okay, so today we're going to be making this small little rib angel. And this angel has a foam head. So if you want them to be ornaments, I recommend that you go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's or Walmart and get small ornaments because they already have the little hook for a ribbon to hang them on your tree or on a package. So there's lots of different things you can use. So you can either use an ornament, you could use a wood dowel depending on the size. This is a foam. Um, or you can use, which will be included in the file, is the paper circle. Okay, so um, today this one has been embossed in my cuddle bag. For this particular angel, you need body, two wings, and this one measures about four and a quarter inches with the head. Okay. And I wanted it the size so it could fit in this embossing folder. And then it also you also need a skirt or the petticoat and two petticoats. Okay, so you're going to put it in your cuddle bag. And if you don't have a cuddle bag, it's really cool. <clears throat> it gives you awesome texture. Just going to run it through. You guys can see my desk you would know that it's a big fat mess right now because this is the second time I made this tutorial because it wasn't recording I got a new laptop and didn't know how to do it okay so the first thing you need to do see the nice texture so great okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to attach your petticoat if you're going to use it so a couple different ways you can do it I use hot glue for most everything, but you can also use this clear tacky glue. If you need a little bit more drying time, if you're not sure, use this. Use something like this. I, I This one isn't um, turbo tacky, but I recommend that. Or I really recommend the Aline, um, I love the Aline's turbo tacky, but I also, I don't have it because they were out, but I also recommend the uh, art glitter glue you have to buy that online is really cool okay so because this is a small one i'm just going to use the hot glue because i'm really i'm pretty good at it so i'm just going to put a little bit on the all the way all the way around and then i'm just going to line it up like that see what i love about hot glue is it cools almost instantly okay and so then i have to do two little sleeves and as I said if you need more drying time then use use a clear glue paper glue and then that way you won't have to rush but if you're going to do that you need to let it set aside to dry for a few minutes so that um, so that it's ready to go okay so I have some that are already ready over here so going to ink them. So generally I would just use my color box ink pad, gold ink pad, but it's pretty much dead. So we're going to use, this stuff is called rub and buff. It is so cool. It can go on anything. You can rub it on glass. You can rub it on oh, so many things. It's really cool. So it comes out kind of thick. So I usually will just like go when I have a tile over here and I'll just rub it on there a little bit to get it. And then I'll just gently do it as heavy or as light as you want. And I'm also going to do the edge of the petticoat. See how nice this is? 
You can do it as heavy or as, as light as you want. So nice. That just picks up that. Picks that up, makes it beautiful. You also could use clear embossing powder and then you could, you know, use gold embossing ink, but I don't have any of that right now. So, doesn't that make it gorgeous? Especially with the red. Oh, it's just very Christmassy. You also, when it was all done, you could just get some spray glitter and glitter the whole thing, which is really fun. Okay, so make sure you put the lid back on this because it dries out really fast. Okay, so now you need to give it, you need to texture it a little bit so that it will know what it's going to do. So I just get it between my fingers and I just curl it. See, I'm just, just curling it. See, you want it to be curved, okay? And you need to do that with these too. Just rub my finger really pretty hard. Be careful because this is this is basil, so this is pretty thick paper. If you use something thinner, don't be so rough with it. You can use any kind of cardstock with this. With this, I mean, I've used some really pretty stuff I've got at Walmart or not Walmart, Joann's. The thinner paper, it will work too. You just have to be gentler with it. It actually curves a lot easier than this stuff. Okay, so now this is so easy. You can use a white glue if you want, but it takes a little bit longer. If you're going to do it like for your classroom or something, <laughs> I recommend getting some clothes pins and tacky glue, okay? And then that way they could put the glue, do this, and put a clothes pin on it, okay? Until it dries. It'll dry pretty fast if you use tacky glue, okay? But if you're doing it for yourself, just, I just use hot glue. So, see, so what I do always is I, practice first so it gives it memory so it knows where it's supposed to go and then I just put glue so if it doesn't like close all the way it's okay because you're gonna glue the sleeve to the body and you won't see it okay okay and just hold it for a minute not even a minute and it will cool so you have a little gap up here but you won't even you won't even see that because it's gonna be glued to the body okay and so you're gonna do that with this one give it some memory and then I'm going to glue it. Just hold it for a second. So do you guys know the trick about if you get glue somewhere and you don't want a hot glue, just use your embossing gun and your, or your hair dryer and heat it back up again and kind of rub it and it will disappear and then that will also get rid of all the strings from glue, from hot glue. Okay, so then we're going to do this one. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to give it some memory. And then that way you also know where the glue goes because it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Now, it's not going to be the end of the world if it doesn't meet at the top all the way either because you're going to put a head on it. So it'll be okay. So I'm going to cool off. Okay there. So now you have your three little cones. Okay, so let's talk about heads. So originally I wanted to do this little paper, a paper one with this, but because the holes are so little, I needed little tiny brads and they're not here yet. So I had some people really anxious for the tutorial, so I didn't wait. So I didn't use this, but look at how pretty this would have been if it would have been right with the head to be the same. And so you also could use the ball now. Depending on the different head you're going to use is how you're going to treat it. Okay, if you're going to use a foam head, get your scissors or your tweezers and make a hole in it and then fill it with hot glue and shove it on. Okay, this one was spray painted red and then glittered. This one was just spray painted with, with shiny gold glitter, with, with shiny gold spray paint and it looks like glitter. Okay, so if you're going to use foam, then leave the top pointed. If you're going to use a Christmas ornament, 
for the head, which I recommend, or if you're going to use the paper one, which is also cool, is what you need to do is you need to get, see how this one's clipped off? You need to get your scissors and you're going to cut down about a half an inch. Okay. And that way you're going to make a little place and you can even just trim it just a little bit to make a little place for the head to sit. Okay. So then you will hot glue the head on there or E6000 or <clears throat> if you're making them for your class you might need to you know you might need to supervise that part of it because it does probably require a pretty strong glue to get it to stay on okay so then the next thing you need to do is on this one you're going to use you're going to put the hot glue where the seams are you know, put glue all the way up or white glue and then you could just use it um, what is it called? I forgot the name of it. A clothespin to hold it on there. Let's dry. Hold it for a minute. Da -da -da. See, isn't it pretty? Look at it. It looks so Christmassy. All it needs now is a shot of spray glitter. And they have that at Walmart in the craft section. And it's like $5. It's really cool. Okay. I'm going to put the other one. This is so cute. I just love these angels. I did them one year for a craft fair. But I didn't do the petticoat. I just thought of it yesterday. Oh, so cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now it would be ready for its head. All right, so I wanted to show you something that I thought would be really cute. As you can even, this ribbon doesn't really go, but it's really cute. You can even put some around its neck like it was in a choir. So this this ribbon isn't doesn't go or anything, but this was ribbon I had and I wanted to show you. Isn't that it's just fun to add just a little bit of extra. And I also thought it would be really cute if you took some little buttons and you could put like contrasting buttons on each on each little scallop. Wouldn't that be cute? So there's all kinds of things you can do and I'm really excited. So let me talk about this one. So this one is called the Lace Angel and the only difference with this one is is that when you glue your sleeves on you're going to want to glue the main part showing. So this, you'll be able to see the seam in the back. But if you don't like that you could just put a piece of ribbon or something on it, okay? And um, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to Miss Lori's Craft Room. Have a good day.